do activities that you learn in school and then do them at home. And one reason for that is you build this common vocabulary of similar words that you can use. And also if you repeat activities we, that you learn in school, then if you do it in a new context, in a new place, it helps make that learning stick. So we're gonna teach you some activities that we do at Pika Path. This one is my favorite. It's called the Calm Dance. And it's kind of like freeze dance, but instead of freezing when the music stops, you're gonna try and get really calm. So you don't have to freeze, but you do have to become calm. And this is a great way to help us see what it's like when we have to calm down, when we go from really excited to calm. So we are going to play the song and I would love everyone to join and dance along with me and get ready to get calm. It's gonna come, we're gonna have to get calm really soon, so I need you to get excited first. Notice your breath might change. Your heart might be beating faster and then it starts to go a little bit slower. Notice if you need to take a second or if you're still excited. And so this will be really helpful if you're ever feeling really frustrated or you're too excited. Think about doing the calm dance to bring yourself back to calm. So that's awesome. So these activities are helpful because when we experience a situation where we are feeling something like being anxious or excited, we can get back to a calm body. And as adults, for the adults in the room, it's important to model that it's okay to feel all different things. And then we can pull from strategies when we're feeling those things to help us get back to calm. It's okay to have a wide range of, of feelings. We also want to show that when we feel a certain way, we can always help ourselves get back to that calm. 